today we will see misconceptions and common mistakes related to subtraction of decimal numbers misconception 1 the height of a tree is 9.336 meters and the height of another tree is 7.51 meters find out the difference between these two heights to subtract 7.51 meters from 9.336 meters to do this subtraction 9.336 is written first the other decimal number is written right below it but while writing this students make a common mistake to make the number of digits equal they write 7.51 as 7.051 in brief they write zero right next to the decimal point with this misunderstanding the students get the result as 2.285 meters therefore option 1 is incorrect in 7.51 there are 7 units 5 tenths and 1 hundredths but in the number after placing zero there are 7 units 0 tenths 5 hundredths and 1 thousand the value of these two numbers is not equal that's why placing zero right next to the decimal point in this number is incorrect the correct understanding is that we have to place zero after the decimal number that is after number 1 so there will be no change in the value of the number with this understanding the correct result of subtraction is found as 1.826 meter which is option 2 now let us see some common mistakes done by the students while performing subtraction of decimal numbers let us understand this with the help of an example rahul and rakesh participated in an exam rahul got 80.1% of marks in the exam and rakesh got 79.67% what is the difference between the percentages they both obtained to find out the difference between the percentages we need to subtract the smaller decimal number from the bigger decimal number some students compare the decimal numbers in the wrong way they think that since 79.67 has four digits it is greater than 80.1 with this understanding they try to subtract 80.1 from 79.67 which will give an incorrect answer some students get it right that is 79.67 has to be subtracted from 80.1 but they don't use zero to make the number of digits equal after the decimal point they think that subtracting 7 from the blank above gives the result of 7 only so they write 7 in the result then they do the subtraction of the remaining digits this is also incorrect some students use 0 to make the number of digits equal after the decimal point but while doing subtraction they simply subtract the smaller number from the bigger number here they subtract 0 from 7 and write 7 as the answer 1 is subtracted from 6 and 5 is written as the answer this is incorrect another common mistake is that students ignore to borrow here 7 cannot be subtracted from 0 so 1 is borrowed and 1 is written as it is without reducing it by doing so they get 11.53 as the result which is also incorrect the correct understanding is that we have to subtract 79.67 from 80.1 we will write 0 after 1 to make the values equal in digits and then we will do the subtraction as shown below pause the video and understand the concept by doing so the correct answer will be 00.43 today we have seen misconceptions and common mistakes related to subtraction of decimal numbers